Alright. I'll look into that later. Right now it's not a big concern for me. It says it's only available for AMD products. That means it'd be kind of, well, illiterate to use it with an NVIDIA GPU. So, uh, if I buy a upgrade for a GPU, I'm probably going to buy an AMD processor. And I actually need to talk to someone about this, too. Um... Hey guys, my bad. Forgot my mic was muted. So anyhow, what I wanted to say, guys, is what I'm looking online, anything that's lower than the 3080 or the 3090 NVIDIA GPU um, would end up actually bottlenecking my CPU and even my buddy's uh, CPU when he's going to be working on getting an upgrade to the systems. Or not an upgrade, but his first system built. So... I will state one thing I'm grateful for is the fact that, um, well, my CPU never goes over 65% and my GPU never goes over 55%, which is actually kind of nice when you think about it. Um, always remove roofs. No one likes roofs. Uh, get the shadow garbage off my dang screen. Off. No one wants that.
never understood the point of Bloom. I always thought Bloom and Shadows were always stupid. anti eliasine mode I always thought was kind of trash. I never really understood the point of those either. So, if that is okay, now that they're removed, we'll be actually running a lot better. No, SB, stop it. That mic is not yours. Plus, it's not 10 a.m. yet. You kids don't get to get fed. Now, I will tell you that this entire content is being recorded literally for after the... <sighs> after I get the God Bless the Game plays of the first descendant uploaded i'd like to get back into that i'm trying to record content ahead of time for video games that way as well when we go to upload them i'll have plenty of content and i won't really have to do much for a few days um but knowing i only have a freaking two terabyte video drive um yeah um, i have to be careful <laughs> i don't want to use up all my space that stupid RuneScape lag again. Hey RuneScape, fix your game and your stupid lag, please. You guys got some issues with the higher end PCs and you guys need to fix your crap. So Monday's uploads will consist of nine videos. It's that simple. I'll be uploading some at 12 p.m. and then changing my evening time until 4 p.m. I will be uploading um, some stuff to YouTube tomorrow with uh, the first descendant. Or not tomorrow, but I mean Monday. So Monday you'll have nine videos that involve well, a whole list of stuff, guys. But... Um, Wednesday's uploads will consist of probably RuneScape and maybe a couple other games depending. Really, SP, what you doing, Baho Kitty? That I've got to get done. I got to do it in under freaking four days. So, move it, SP, before I throw you. Alright, so sadly I'm not a freaking premiere and I'm not going to pay for that. I mean, I'd rather 
go back to game companies paying or charging five dollars ninety nine cents for a membership to like six dollars and thirty five cents after tax. But nah, a lot of game companies are too um, greedy for that. They think six dollars and thirty five cents isn't enough to charge. But in all reality, guys, a wake up call to reality is this: if you don't charge nearly as much as these other game companies. When you produce a good game, logical facts prove the fact that you're going to make a lot more money because you're going to win over people long term. And you're not going to upset your player base. You're actually going to make them like you. The second you get greedy, the second you think you are entitled to charging $9.99, $12.99, $14.99, the second you're going to really upset the community and upset the player base, the people who pay your paycheck. So ultimately, that is my big issue, is I don't feel the desire to want to pay. Now, I mean, seriously, if games were $5.99, $5 $6.35 after tax, so $5.99 and then $6.35 after tax, all the games I love and enjoy, I would gladly pay you a membership fee. It's that simple. But ultimately, if you guys didn't try to scam people out of their money, this wouldn't be a problem. And you guys could actually probably afford to update your games, properly build games, and even make money from selling your games. But when you charge a freaking arm and a leg and a left testicle to even get what you're wanting, you're going to choke out your own company and business, sadly. And then we go up the stupid deadbeat lag of their stupid trash servers again. Okay, so here's what's going to happen because they're annoying me. Um, hey, illiteracy known as Jagex. Get your crap fixed and whatnot now. I'm tired of it because I'm logging out and I'm going to find a different Hop Worlds now because I don't want to play with trash. Um... Yeah, it's take me to that. It's got less than 10 people. It shouldn't matter. I should be on a server that has over 2k people not not have an issue. Because if I can play Final Fantasy 14, I can play WoW, I can play all these other games. But then I really, realistically, should not have an issue on this old game. Because I'm going to tell you flat out, folks, this game is older. Or, oh, well. Not older than me, but old enough to be my age. And in all reality... I struggle so Ooh, dumb cat will kill you um it shouldn't be lagging again 128 gigabytes of ddr4 ram um set at 3600 megahertz per second ryzen 9 5900 x constantly overclocked because i can't afford to do so without a finance or without any type of overheating issues then you have the RTX 3060, which, by the way, I'm starting to realize NVIDIA is a trash company because they can't keep their proper devices rationalized and configured to run games that are older than their GPUs. And even then, sadly, it's now becoming a mid-tier GPU and isn't worth a dang. Um, so I will have to talk to a few people about some stuff. So there's that. 